and Jennifer Capper. Whiskey's around here somewhere. Oh, Whiskey! Hi! Come here. Jennifer Capper and Whiskey. And today, we're going to make homemade cat treats using just four simple ingredients. The ingredients list. You'll use one cup of flour. I picked up whole wheat flour at Trader Joe's. One egg, cage free, also from Trader Joe's. One tablespoon of premium high grade fantastic catnip. One can of tuna. Tuna! You can also, instead of tuna, use a can of wet cat food. However, I found that whiskey prefers the tuna recipe over the cat food recipe. You will use a small bowl for the egg and a larger bowl for everything else. A cup, a whisk, and a tablespoon. Oh, and of course, a blender or a food processor. All right, let me start by opening up the can too. Ready, let's go. Oh, and you will need one thing. A star fruit. You need this, but not for the recipe. All right. So we actually want the tuna in its lovely tuna juice. Pop it on in the blender. Looks and smells delicious. I'm actually a vegetarian. Looks and smells delicious for whiskey's sake. All right. Are we ready? Let's hit this on high. We want this to remove all chunks. So it's ready to go. Next, you're gonna take your beautiful little cage free or free roaming egg. And we're going to beat that egg. Beat that egg like the bad egg it is. Alright, you've got your tuna mixture, you've got your egg mixture. Now we're switching to a large bowl. Take our beautiful whipped tuna mixture. I just can't believe how delicious this looks like. Look at, look at it. All right, we're going to add the egg in. There's actually a thunderstorm happening right now. It is Florida. Whiskey is not a fan of thunderstorms. All right, so if you're gonna go for some catnip, get the good stuff. Get the catnip with a lot of buds. The more buds, the better, because the buds have the catnip oil, and the catnip oil is what makes your cat go wild. This catnip also has a plant called silver vine in it, which is grown in the mountains of Asia. Whiskey is actually passing underneath me. He must have heard about the catnip. I know, baby. Say hi. Yes, yes, your time will come. So, as I was saying, silver vine is a plant that tends to work on cats who aren't really into catnip. And then those who are into catnip are really into silver vine. So we've got one tablespoon of catnip. And then flour. I'm sure you know, if you've watched enough of my videos, that ideally you're going to feed your cat grain-free food. However, when making homemade treats, it's pretty hard to go grain-free. You'll use one cup of flour. Mix everything together until it forms a nice dough. If it seems a little dry, feel free to add some water to the mix. We've got our lovely bottle of dough. Let's see how it tastes. You're gonna take tiny little cat treat sized morsels. Make sure they are small enough for your cat to eat easily. You know, normal treat kibble size. So I will check back with you when I've got a whole sheet done. Now you can have as much fun as you want with these. You can have little tiny cookie cutters and cut out each individual one. You can make them into fun handmade shapes or you can make funny little balls and just see what they bake into. I've got my balls ready. So, cooking time. 
Preheat the oven to 350 degrees and you are going to pop these babies in for 15 to 20 minutes. 15 minutes, check on them. They should be nice and lightly browned, but not burned. If they need a little bit more time, give it up to 20 minutes. Here we go. And while you're waiting for your treats to bake, you can make another batch. Or you can take this time to play with your cat. Whiskey is ready for playtime. Let's go. You are your cat's world, and your cat is a hunter. Your cat craves playtime. This is Whiskey's newest toy, so it is his current favorite toy. And Whiskey is 10 years old, and he loves playtime all the same. Whether it's 10 years old or 3 years old, he has always been about playtime. And I'll tell you, 99.9% .9 of cats want to play every day in some form or another. Let's see how they came out. You would think that maybe they were Rico fish, but they have a nice scent to them. So we've got all these beautiful hot treats. So you'll want to give your treats about five minutes to cool. You can also use aluminum foil, if not parchment paper, but they don't stick on the parchment paper, which is very nice, as you can see. Once they cool, they'll be ready to go. Now I've got a cute little container, and we will put the fresh homemade treats into this cute little airtight container. And because these are nice and natural with no preservatives, they will last longer in the refrigerator. So, storing in the refrigerator is the best choice. The moment of truth, the whiskey taste test. What do you think, baby boy? Here you go. Yes! Whiskey and Leela say find Jennifer Catper on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you next time.